You may or may not know this, but Fable 2 is the only Fable game not available for the PC. The original Fable as well as the Lost Chapters was available on both Xbox and PC, as well as Fable 3 was available on both Xbox and PC. But for some reason, Fable 2 just never quite made it to PC. Until today. But yeah, in today's video we are going to be exploring Fable 2 on the PC, specifically using some Xbox 360 emulation. Now of all the emulators, particularly the Xbox emulations have been, I think, the most troublesome for developers. And that applies to both the Xbox and the Xbox 360 emulators. Back probably at least five or six years ago when I first saw people trying to emulate Fable 2, it was essentially not possible. The game hardly even ran, the textures were broken, things like that. I remember it just not looking like it was gonna work out. But oh boy, have things changed. Now, Fable 2 is actually something viable to play on an emulator. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Well, actually, no, that's not exactly what we're gonna be doing today because uh, obviously that's illegal. I can't show you guys how to do that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what not to do because I don't want you guys breaking any laws out here. I'm gonna show you guys what you want to avoid if you want to quote unquote avoid getting in legal trouble for breaking this law. So I'm, I'm gonna show you exactly what not to do. First thing that you, you definitely don't wanna do, you definitely don't wanna go to this website called Vimslayer. I'm not gonna tell you guys the URL because that would be super duper illegal. So I'm not going to tell you guys what the URL is. And again, you don't want to go here because it's illegal. Don't do it. But anyways, first of all, you want to avoid going to the emulation layer because there's all sorts of illegal stuff here. But in particular, what you want to avoid is you definitely don't want to accidentally click on this download button for the Xenia Xbox 360 emulator because that would that would be illegal. Like it, it would cause you to accidentally illegally download an Xbox 360 emulator. And obviously that's illegal. We don't want anybody doing anything illegal. So don't accidentally click that bu button. Um, oops. Uh, once you've avoided accidentally clicking the download button for the Xbox 360 emulator, uh, you're going to try to avoid going to the vault because this vault is full of illegal properties, actually. And in particular, you're going to want to avoid looking at the Xbox 360 illegal properties because it would be illegal for us to put any illegal ROMs into our illegal emulator that hopefully we didn't accidentally download. If you go to F, you're going to find, you know, Fable 2, Fable 2 Game of the Year Edition, Fable 3. And again, all these are, le are illegal, so you don't want to accidentally download any of these. You would be committing a crime if you accidentally downloaded any of these. So you, you do want to avoid accidentally clicking on, for instance, Fable 2 Game of the Year Edition. If you accidentally click on that, uh, it will take you to this download page. Luckily, you do get a second chance, right? If you accidentally click that, it's not over. You still have to accidentally click this. So by all means, do not accidentally click this button. It would be super duper illegal if you accidentally clicked either of these buttons. Um, Oops. So anyways, if you don't already have an illegal emulation folder, you're going to want to install your Xbox emulator, which by the way, the installation for the Xbox 360 emulator. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, I'm done with the whole, uh, well, this is a legal charade, right? And it was cute while it lasted, right? There's actually literally nothing to this. You just drag and drop. I think these three files are literally all you have and all you need, but you kind of just drop these three files into whatever your little folder is, I guess. I dragged it and dropped it there. And that was literally all I needed to do. You click it and then it opens and then you're good to go. Now this is actually a somewhat unique experience because I think for pretty much all of the PlayStation emulators you need to have like a like a boot file or something like that or, or something you always need some sort of like weird boot file or like operating system file or something or other to get the other ones to work. The Xbox 360 emulator is actually like very very straightforward. You literally just download it and it's literally ready to go. You just double click it and it's it's good to go. And then the same thing for games. I usually just create a games folder within that folder and as you can see here we already have Fable 2 Game of the Year edition here. Also a very simple process, you literally just drag and drop whatever you call this file. You just drop the ROM file into the games folder. It doesn't actually really matter where you drop that. But anyways, you're going to go file, open, you got the games folder right here. Fable 2 Game of the Year Edition. It, it literally is that simple. You just download both of them and then you run 360 emulator and you open your game. And bada bing, bada boom, we should be in the room. We have Fable 2 on PC. But how does it look? How does it feel? How does it play? That's the real question. So anyways, we're not going to get too deep into this. I just want to do enough to like show you guys that the game works and all that jazz. See, so yeah, as you can see, we got like all the textures and stuff. Oh, God, do I really have to watch all this. You're kidding me, right? 
But yeah, kind of seems like it's just working. But yeah, it's it's been like a really, really long time. It was basically like an unplayable mess, but now it kind of seems like it's, it's kind of just good to go. Now, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of graphical controls like the PlayStation emulators have. Even like PS1, PS2 emulators, those all have like high definition resolutions and stuff like that that you can play with. This doesn't seem to have any of that, unfortunately. So you do get that kind of old like Xbox 360 look to it. It is like maybe vaguely sharper, but you can tell those textures are like pretty rough. But by God, we have textures at all. And that is an accomplishment. But I am playing with the controller right now. It would be nice to figure out how to get this thing set up on the keyboard and mouse, but probably not that difficult. You probably just got to bind a whole bunch of keys and stuff to where you want them. But theoretically, you should be able to play this game with a keyboard and mouse. I'm definitely running at a solid like 30 FPS. It's pretty ugly. Can't lie. Game definitely plays like it's on an Xbox 360, but just the fact that you're able to get it on the PC at all is quite impressive, I have to admit. Yeah, we're not really gonna get too deep into this. I, I do wanna do a Fable 2 playthrough series on the emulator, see how that ends up working out, because I wanna see just how playable the whole game ends up being on emulator. Uh, what kind of hiccups might come along the way, glitches, freezes, crashes, things like that, you never know. I mean, from what I can tell here, the game seems to be relatively stable, so there shouldn't really be too many problems, I would assume, but you just never know with these emulators, what might be broken or when it might be broken, so I do wanna do the Fable 2 playthrough series using the emulator and uh, that'll kind of be the answer to any questions people might have for game stability and things like that but yeah the game works the emulator works and if you've been waiting forever to play fable 2 on pc well this is pretty much the only way you're going to be able to do it it may not be the fable 2 on pc that you were hoping for but by god we did finally get fable 2 on pc in at least some way shape or form so that's kind of nice but yeah that is basically it for this video that is how you get fable 2 on the pc how you get it up and running all that stuff it's actually just incredibly easy actually it's pretty much as easy as an n64 emulator which is very surprising considering the state of playstation emulation so anyways hope you guys found this video useful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and all that stuff i definitely find that useful and i hope you guys enjoy playing fable 2 on the pc